Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again, bringing you guys another Madden 15 Ultimate Team video. And in today's video, guys, we are going to be playing a head-to-head -head seasons game, 5-2 and two on the season. And in this game, you guys are going to get to see some Barry Sanders highlights against an All-99 team. So this guy's team is pretty well stacked. It's actually a better team than mine, so uh, it's always nice to play against people that have better teams so that you can test yourself. But today, we're not going to be talking too much about the gameplay. What I want to talk about is this crazy trade rumor that's currently happening in the NFL right now that the Denver Broncos are trying to or did try to trade Peyton Manning. Now, this is an absolutely weird situation. Um, uh, you know, I, I don't really look too often into these type of things because you'll hear rumors of people getting traded and that kind of thing, but it's very rarely going to be a player that's on the level of a Peyton Manning. That's in the trade rumors. I mean, this guy is t one season removed from being the league MVP. Um, he set the all-time record for most yards and most touchdowns in a season that year, two years ago. And he still had a great year last year. Now, granted, people are going to be talking about the fact that, you know, of course, it is true. He did drop off a little bit last year. But, hey, you can't really fault the guy for dropping off from literally the best freaking season that a quarterback has ever had in the NFL. So, to me, I was just shocked to see this. And basically what the story is, is that it came from a guy named um, Benjamin Allwright from uh, Denver, I guess. He's one of the radio guys out there, it sounds like. And basically he reported a story that, uh, that the Broncos were trying to trade him to the Houston Texans. Now... That was a little bit shocking to me. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that the Texans did actively pursue Peyton Manning when he was a free agent a couple of years ago. And that was, you know, a lot of people expected that they would try to do that. You know, of course, you want to pick up the player coming from the Colts and have him stay in the division. He's going to have some information on the Colts, of course, and not to mention he's one of the best quarterbacks of all time, so it's good to have that on your team as well. But um, it, it was kind of surprising to me that they would be trying to trade for Peyton Manning right now because I'm not sure that that team is really in contention to win right now. So that kind of caught me off guard at first. But then I read a little bit more into this, and apparently this guy, this Benjamin Albright guy, was actually the first guy to start the rumor that the Rams were trading for Nick Foles. So suddenly there's serious legitimacy behind this guy, you know, and, and he claims that he got this information from two independent sources. So really, really surprising stuff, guys. I mean, that, that just came completely out of nowhere, in my opinion. Peyton Manning, to me, still one of the elite quarterbacks in this in this game of football, and the Broncos still are a contender. People don't want to admit that these guys are contenders, but the reality of the situation is that the Patriots are a really good team, but I don't think that they're somewhat, they're not a team that the, the Broncos couldn't beat, especially now that the Patriots don't have Darrell Revis, for example, and, and you know, teams change from year to year. Broncos probably, you know, I, I would say that the Broncos took a little bit of a step back, but also you have to keep in mind that Peyton Manning was also playing injured. So it, it makes sense, of course, that the Broncos would want to keep Peyton Manning under contract. They actually had him restructure his contract this year as well, which is, you know, something that doesn't really happen that often. He took a $4 million pay cut to stay in Denver. Now, along with that restructuring of his contract, he actually included a no trade clause. So, all of these rumors, as far as I understand them, are completely unsubstantiated. Not only that, but Patrick Smith, who is uh, the vice president of public relations for the Denver Broncos, actually came out on, tw on Twitter and said, here's one for the record. And he was saying this in response to Benjamin Albright's tweet, or Albright, excuse me, his tweet that basically said, you know, there's way too many questions for me to respond to. I still have no on the record report. But Patrick Smith, the vice president of public relations said, here's one for the record. The speculation is false and your report is inaccurate, period. So as far as I understand it, this whole trade situation, completely unsubstantiated, not true. Um, but it is possible, of course, 
that the team has, you know, been working on some sort of a trade to set up for next season. Now, I, I mean, I'm not exactly sure how that whole thing works. I don't know if he gets to keep the no trade clause for the entirety of his contract or what. I haven't really seen any reports about that. But, I mean, it really puts the team in an awkward spot right now because you've heard situations like this before where even just rumors of guys wanting to be traded or teams wanting to trade a guy have turned into the player, you know, basically losing their minds. I mean, I think it happened with Brandon Marshall before when uh, he was on the Broncos. It happened with Jay Cutler when he was on the Broncos, if I remember correctly. Uh, So now the Broncos are in another situation like this, completely different coaching staff, completely different front office and everything like that. But again, they're back in this situation where rumors are that they're trying to trade their freaking franchise quarterback. So uh, it's kind of baffling. I I still, again, I don't know for a fact whether this is true or not. It's really hard to say, but it seems very unlikely that the team was actually trying to trade Peyton Manning, given the fact that he does have that no trade clause in his contract. So, I mean, all things considered, I, I mean, most likely this is not true. It would be very, very impossible at this point for them to actually trade Peyton Manning unless he wanted to be traded. And, uh, you know, given the fact that he specifically went in there when he took that pay cut and added the no trade clause into the contract as part of the deal, that means to me that he probably had a good idea that the Broncos could consider trading him because it would be easier for them to trade him with a lower salary. So that's probably why he demanded to make sure that he had a no trade clause, which basically, as far as I understand it means, not necessarily that, again, that he can't be traded, but more so that he can't be traded without approval. So the Broncos would have to go in, they would have to talk to him, they'd have to talk to his agent and work something out that worked not only for the team, but also for Peyton himself. So chances are that he's probably not going to want to go play for the Texans, given the fact that, like I said, they're not much of a contender right now. So, you know, again, I just, I, I'm not buying into this whole trade situation, but I want to hear what you guys have to say. Do you think that this is a real story or do you think that this is complete BS? I'm interested to hear what you guys have to say. Should the Broncos be looking to trade Peyton Manning? And should Peyton Manning, now that this is potentially a, a real life situation, should he be looking to get off of the Broncos? Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. Were you shocked at hearing this? Do you think that there's any legitimacy behind it at all? I'm interested to hear what you guys have to say. So, Thanks again, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. Of course, subscribe to this channel if you are new. Hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay as well. We do walk out with the victory in this one. Barry Sanders had a pretty good game. Shut down Mike Vick for the most part. Here he is taking off for a run, but damn, we laid the hammer on him quite a few times. even caused a fumble. Thanks again, guys. Talk to you again soon. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section. Bye, guys.